the following audio recording ladies and gentlemen and don't like to say this ladies and gentlemen this is crazy it's insane uh, either from your perspective or my perspective uh, I sure do hope you enjoyed this program uh, but really really uh, this is the stuff that actually was intended for investigators for the police not really for entertainment purposes sorry i say like this because of what i have posted on my news site this morning and that's basically a gentleman you see on the left hand of uh, bill gates that's a World Health Organization chief, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, uh, the man right there, who was involved in this case for more than 20 years and was, in fact, handpicked by Donald Trump. Uh, I deem that he was handpicked because he participated in this for 20 years. He had done absolutely nothing about it and have actually campaigned for Donald Trump. He knew the coming of virus 10 years ahead, was handpicked specifically to cover up against me uh, for Donald Trump, literally stuff that i have gone through in poland is something i should never have gone through i in fact believe i should not even have gone to the poland uh it did not serve the purpose i believe to anyone the least it served the purpose to me and have even attempted to use my conscience against me by gesturing me that his communist past involving involvement in a communism and through the knowledge of the case which they would relate to me that whenever you would go against someone you would uh, it would be used to pull whatever party I would point out uh, to pull them inside of the current. Let's say if you would expose one party, that would be the party that and the reason for one to cooperate in it. Uh, talking about the Nazism. Therefore, have used my conscience, knowledge of the case itself to blackmail me uh with the idea that if i would point at him that it would be also a china that would have to collaborate with the nazism therefore what he did was he knew i have nothing to do with a nazism the man is from africa uh, a black man used literally my conscience basically to blackmail me uh, on a Nazi collaboration with China, or I should say Chinese Nazi collaboration in case I would dare to point at him. This is the individual we are talking about, so I don't think it gets any worse. Not particularly impressed with uh, U.S. elections either. Uh, that's why I said that, you know, I don't mean to bother you with this kind of issues, but I started like this. It shouldn't be, hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is not an entertainment. This was not meant to entertain people here. Uh, the idea here is for me to prove the existence of MK Ultra of abductions extraordinary renditions for the purposes of torture me a u.s citizen me slovenian a native slovenian citizen foremost abducted between 95 all the way to mid 2006 
all over the Europe, Western and Eastern Europe. Uh, in this case, we have a Czech Republic, for which I never supposed to be in in my lifetime. Never crossed in one for the per first time according to the my whereabouts in my life. That would happen exactly on a day when I did a recorded what you see here. This is the area of Ostrava and that was on September the 4th of 2020. Uh, these are the two companies I have identified along with two employees in this company. Uh, but it's something that did happen for no less than 23 years when brought from United States of America at the beginning from United States of America from 95 to mid 2006 on a regular basis and later on also from Slovenia and again United States and even Scandinavia and Germany um, ongoingly like I said for no less than 23 years actually afterwards periodically whenever they would get a chance to get a hold of me basically hijack me including from this home from asylum wherever I apply for the political asylum for protection or even from the mental hospital and this is what makes me upset that the gentleman like this would go and cover up he works after all for the world health organization and it's this kind of organization that is being used actually to break your spine uh, to deprive you of 26 years of life probably you would not be happy either the US elections I deem completely insane uh, used to cover up more this very crime uh, I don't see why Hispanic people for whom Donald Trump indicated would shoot them in foot as soon as they approach to the border uh, would have a different taste in Texas and in Florida uh, from their counterparts on the West Coast as you see right there in Nevada in uh, California and so on uh, that does not make me sense even less sense it makes me the states the US states with over 30 percent of black populations of black populations such as our right there as you see Mississippi Georgia Alabama and so on uh, which indicated that Donald Trump won I did not have a clue that the Black Lives Matters and the mixed marriages uh, that they would go and give Donald Trump like a total devotion total support I had no idea about it but if they say so Donald Trump who in 2020 is a proven a Nazi a proven a racist bigot when compared to 2016 uh, it appears only have lost maybe 1% of support throughout the United States of America something I will definitely not accept so you can imagine uh, not a very happy today about it all but that's also something is not going to stop me from pursuing my rights actually my right to exist despite everything let's continue with the audio recording uh this one was done like i said like i've stated in this part of the ostrava actually on the verge of uh of the ostrava on the outskirts of the ostrava in the czech republic on september the 4th of 2020 let's just go with the recording. Hello, I'm looking for the job. Hello, how are you? Uh, 
Look, I can I can work with the customer service, sales, uh, marketing, and I can also work in a warehouse, man. Uh, where are you from? I explained the lady I'm easy employable because I'm from Slovenia. Slovenia is a member of European Union just like uh, Czech Republic is. And on top of that I also was in Poland. I explained her uh, I am fluent in Polish language in which I am by the way communicating when talking to her. Uh, Poland and Czech Republic are neighbors um, Czech people don't really have a trouble understanding Polish language. Uh, beside that, I'm also from Slovenia. It wouldn't be difficult for me to learn Czech language. Um, ask me about where I'm located at, and I tell her on the Polish side of the border, but right on the border in the Hauptkoch, Novi Bohumin, Stari Bohumin area. Ask me if I have a CV with me. Uh, in fact, I do, but the problem is it's in Polish, it's in English. Uh, I have both versions um, that however is a little bit trouble too because a telephone in in a Czech Republic a telephone services in the Czech Republic about a ten time as high as are in Poland where in particular in uh, where I basically just came from so this really really is a trouble for me okay this is what my resume basically look like in Polish and also in English so yes both but need Wi-Fi something to transmit this resume it's just my second day here in Ostrava about Wi-Fi if I can do it no we don't uh, I tell, and I tell her I said and, and, and the best of all would be just to give me a job immediately that would be actually the best option for me I tell her just like this um, <laughs> Look, uh, basically, uh, uh, this this stuff is like this, right? Um, I'm not even kidding. Uh, when you go at the door of employer uh, in person, the idea is to make uh, a personal impression on employer. Now, these people, people I'm talking to, know me already for, uh, well, at least they know me for about 22 23 years already personally this is what i was brought time and time and time and time and again um the last time when i was here i was eventually told by the lady you hear alone that prior to this arrival with american psychologists that she will definitely they will help me they will offer me job and tra la 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 um look most of these employers became employers, business people. Eh, that's actually very relative to, all right? They definitely got connection, they got credits, they got uh, 
ways, financing and so on, that otherwise might not be even accessible to them. Who knows? It will, or at least it would be difficult. But I wouldn't say that these people became what they became because uh, it would be these Americans on, on a picture that made them these things eventually accessible easier, or at least easier accessible. Or even less what Americans have insisted to me. And they did this so for completely wrong reasons, basically. They insisted to me that it's they have this only because uh, of me, basically. Just because, yes, I was used like a magnet for the people. It would always be where the problems... Uh, Americans use me as a political tool. They use me to divide a society. They use me to increase the racism, Nazism throughout the Eastern Europe. Hatred. Basically, that's what I was used for. If you wanted to get the money and you would just have to go to next to this very unpleasant, drugged up freak, basically, this is how I saw myself, if I would the best describe myself from my point of view. Uh, where, by the way, you're going to have to somehow sell yourself and that's how you're going to get a financing, money, connections, and so on and so forth. Based on your betrayal against your own country, basically, is how you will get your goodies. Now, the danger also is that your country is going to smell the rat, and you will get yourself in a deep, deep, deep trouble. And it, that just happens so to be a case way too often. All right? Uh, and so, to increase resentment against the Czech, against the Polish, against the people that were involved in MKUltra, Americans insisted that they have what they have because of you. They would eventually brought me to Manufactura shopping mall in the center of the lodge and insisted me that they have what they have and they would use Polish people for that purpose too. Because of you, because of you and so on and so forth. No. They don't have because of me, they have because they're human beings, because they're people, because Germany, United States, Britain, and everyone else had to invest someplace. And they did come up with a plan that next to investments they're going to make, they will also try to raise a Nazism. They will try to get a little bit more for the money, basically stuff that otherwise was illegal. Uh, stuff that otherwise but is not thanks to the people like the gentleman here with a communist past let's say from the World Health Organization a black guy from Africa uh, eventually made things like this possible for them it should be legal but eventually is not thanks to the people like this and so I decided uh, rather than all also all the promises this 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 business people this owners gave me i'm also actually thinking about because the promises really did nothing for me other than increase the sentiment for resentment uh that is better for me to change the concept into that nobody owes me anything you know this way we're gonna stay a little bit more separate uh, we're going to stay on a separate banks of the river and we're going to see each other as it was, basically, and not as something as it could be. I, I should say a little bit more realistic. Uh, no, it's not funny to go and ask for the job in person after you were told during MKUltra that you will get the job. At this place, they had a test subjects they would evaluate and I don't know was it one or two they got a real problem with the spine because of lifting heavy objects uh, now these people did have a regular herniated discs which are actually the cause for the people to uh, retire from disability
my problem however is by far more severe because i did not suffer for what was done to me in poland only herniated disc but because of what they have done increasingly throughout the year beginning from 95 when they would have me carry improperly very heavily loaded backpacks i'm talking about uh, staff members people that would come from hollywood they volunteered themselves for the sake of the jobs uh, for the for the sake of the movie reels uh, uh, um, lucrative careers they would uh, board them in other countries that's what they require from them to go through rather than through the military service uh, they wanted to get impressions about them through the missions like this so they could send them to areas for which the US government deemed were unsafe such was China where they have investments and so on and they wanted to make people like resilient to any possible uh, situations they might encounter uh, and yeah this people way too often would load me with whatever they should have carried and they were too lazy to do so uh, angry on me that they had to do something they have volunteered themselves for and then they would do the stuff like this to me then my spine would just simply collapse crash basically under the burden that you see here nowhere in america would i ever carry a fucking backpack or even a pen in my pocket anything in my lifetime uh, that was for entire 11 and a half years during my stay in miami from 95 to mid 2006 yet my spine going literally from professional boxing league in slovenia into a totally situation that caused me basically seizures and stuff like this already sometimes in 2002 2003 basically to paint it to put it plain and simple now add to this issue the issue from poland which caused me a herniated disc and you get a real horror this is my present also situation with the spine Oops, that really was a mistake right now, I apologize. This here is what cirrhosis is. This thing here. And when you add to this thing here, herniated disc, this is what a real problem is, like you have no idea. And yeah, all this stuff, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to say that I regretfully state this, but it really is the product of the man you see on the left side of Bill Gates. Okay, so they are laughing at my gesture that I would land this job immediately. Was, I don't know what is funny. When you go in person to apply for the job, the idea is for you to appear in person, make impression on employer and land this job fast as you can these people i'm talking to are totally familiarized with me i know them from the past and i will identify them as soon as i uh, am about to exit so at this point i realized this ha, 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 when i said the best would be to get the job basically immediately uh, it tells me that there will be no actually job send me a resume actually tells me bye bye uh it's a waste of time sebastian because the one that needs the job that's gonna when you go for some kind of job like this um that person eventually is gonna hand you a job that person knows you already from the past uh and so i feel i have nothing to lose so before i get out of here before i get out of this place i made sure that i did identify them so that's basically that's that.
I tell her your SIM cards here in Czech Republic are about 10 times as expensive and in Poland. That's just a fact. Yeah, really great. I tell her I'm new. Uh, now, if you have a Wi-Fi, I can send you this resume immediately. If you don't, then you give me uh, an email and I'll send you one, whatever it is that I do. Um, I do like to get the job, though, before I would go and purchase myself some kind of uh, check telephone number and this and that. Because right now I have a Polish one still. This is my second day in Ostrava looking for the job, basically. Not going out there to buy myself uh, phone cards and stuff like this. All that would be a normal when you move to the city or something like that. But then again. I tell her I'd like to get some kind of job, any kind of job first. She asked me if I would take a manual job. I tell her, yes, I would like to. I tell her, uh, I can, I have a license for um, tractor trailers. Uh, I can operate also Wuska uh, Vidlova forklifters. However, I don't have a license to operate them, but I can work in a warehouse. I can do whatever you need. With exception of lifting heavy, uh, manual lifting, uh, you know, heavy stuff, heavy material or whatever. I basically remind her of our past, of the past that they have encountered with other test subjects. Actually, they have encountered with the test subjects. I'm not a test subject. I was doing this stuff unvoluntarily. Those people in the U.S. volunteered themselves for whatever they wanted uh, to lend their career set. Uh, I did not. 20-25 uh, kilo uh, boxes and so on is what uh, they would have me carry uh, in Poland between 15 to 20 tons material per day. I told her this is the kind of stuff I don't want to do here. I can lift but uh you know stuff like this i don't want to be doing <laughs> again ha 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 um Send us a resume. Yes, I will send you. I already know this is zero point nothing. I tell her I can lift, I can do the things, but that I would be doing some kind of uh, stuff like this again, it's out of question. Uh, one or two test subjects that did undergo the treatment in this warehouse developed uh, severe spine problems within just a few days it was finished uh, 
I don't know how heavy stuff that they have to lift uh, manually or just at least move manually and stuff like this, pallets, whatever. Uh, it, it's like for somebody that has a problem like I have, as I explained, it's really a no-no. I don't know what she said, 100 kilo, 200 kilo, I have no idea. I told her, unfortunately, the injury in Poland was such that it was time when I could not even walk. Um, but you don't have some kind of market, uh, let's say something like in Croatia, Slovenia, something like this, the Granichny, it's like across the border in, in some other country or something like this. Uh, I could easily work in a sales department, marketing, customer service or whatever. Uh, they, at this point in time, they tell me this is, they sell the computer peripherals. Yeah. These people got really, really wealthy with the computer peripherals. Listen, I tell her, you guys are here already from year 2000. I, I uh, decide to just go about and find out what's going on with this stuff here, get my uh, stuff, because job wasn't a job did not look promising here at this place, uh, as well as mine. The best would be for me to just go and um, at least get something done rather than waste time are you here 20 years or not we are and I tell her okay no you see and I tell her and the company that you see this here this company here is seven years uh, this is a severe mistake I have made here for this kind of mistake uh, the American psychologist told me he would know nothing about me if I would say something like this that this is a stuff that would anger him tremendously uh, it is true this company also is an old company uh, what you see here is the first thing this company is a company it started with i think actually with what is here in the middle and then he expanded to the rear and then he expanded to the front and then in 2013 and this is why i made a mistake this here was added 2013 2012 2013 and when I was coming here, I was miserable as it gets 
eventually even determined yeah this is how I came right from here it was also it's also not an easy way to come here there is no pedestrian walk for the pedestrians or anything like this nothing like this cars are zooming back and forth I came here and I was determined I'm not gonna be asking anybody anymore about um, anything about any kind of company whatever the only thing I did was I had a glimpse of this thing and I just proceeded angry here he came from Poland where I searched for the job uh, in waiting for nothing going back and forth promised stuff that you folks don't even possibly can imagine how insane eventually during MK Ultra reminded of what they have done to me in the United States of America where I would literally submit about 25,000 applications on which no employment ever would be uh, granted to me after the spine injury eventually you will suffer uh, you will be also placed on a permanent unemployment just like you were in United States of America however it will be required from you to continue with a job search for you to obtain proofs if this is not fucking insane excuse me I don't know what it is and pardon on my expression would you like to be 16 17 years forcefully unemployed and go and ask and try to obtain uh, some kind of proofs and stuff like this well I have a news for you the US government eventually believes that this is a funny shit they think that this is a piece of cake they think that this is just no, a marmalade or something a jam that this is a joke and therefore uh, it's not a big deal it can be done right if it can be done is okay this is what the US government thinks so based on that information I just gave you I decided I'm not gonna be asking inquiring about anybody as per how long their companies exist how long they're open for how long these people work for and so on and so forth in a Czech Republic where I moved to from the center of the Poland in a search for employment I did however after I realized that this is going nowhere I did it all right so this here the company that I have stated not right now that company right there I made a big mistake that's also a old company however not as old as this one here this is the oldest one this one this company here that you see all right I'm gonna break you down this with a total precision all right let's go and we're gonna do a total MK Ultra right now here I got enough of this here um, the company I was at is this one here all right this company here this one here popped up I tell you what I estimate that this popped up in year 99 uh, this is actually the oldest company here then let me see something here because here actually was a lot of things that went on This is actually not even worth of me wasting time. This came at later time, totally later time. This is a waste. One of them was older, but this is not worth it to waste brain on it. Uh, and the company I have suggested, this company here, this one, this company, I estimate that this one here started sometimes like two years later. All right, this probably, I estimate, appeared here sometimes in... 2002 maybe something like that I would give one like 2002 this one here right so you get one two uh, and let me see something else here yeah okay okay one of this company is here and I'm not sure which one one of these structures one 
was actually I think actually even older because it was the company that was like um, let me see this again let me see this here okay yeah one of them here was like the first one but that company no longer exists whatever the hell that was then that company that company was here i i have no idea in 98 maybe 98 something like this already was here okay then the second thing that opened was this one here that you see and then this one here sometimes i probably estimate in about like I don't know 2002 maybe 2003 something like that with the last portion just as I have explained how did it all started it started with this thing here this this was the, this was this this was the beginning this here this then they added this here this was the number two then in the end they expanded to what you see here this thing here and then in the end they added this thing here this is the way this was eventually let me think about something let me make sure about this no this here this this is the original the first structure i believe this here this this then the second part as i stated okay let's do it like this okay well you see these two towers this is in between and these two towers this is the original with this here from up front added as second right the first was this tower here and this like a little factory here and then you see this here then they added this thing here in the back then as the last thing in sometimes in 2012 2013 that's basically when they added this thing here and i made a mistake like I said, I already have explained as I walked inside, I didn't give a three damn about the whole thing. But all right, since I did made a mistake about this, I'm determined to go and identify both employees. For one, for which I claim works 20 years and also revealed that it does from the first day, uh, there is a possibility she's actually wife of the owner or something like this. I don't know. But this is a good looking lady and the chances are actually that she would she might have been actually wife of the owner or one of the owners or something like this. I have no idea. Uh, and the second one, uh, that one did not work so long like she does, but also is a long time employee. I tell her 15 years for both of them. I get a recognition. So identify two workers right there. Tell them how old the company is and I get admission from them, recognition from them uh, as per knowing me. And you can hear them how they laugh and this and that. Obviously these people know me. They know everything about me. All right, they tell me, no, it's uh, it's already, it's not seven years, it's already 15 years, I think. 15 years, but not a lot. I'm not even, I'm not even positive what she says.
now I do ask her about if there is anything in direction as you go uh, up the hill uh, if you see this hill here whether there is something here up up there or not I was throughout this entire hill and I can go and I can tell you about this stuff here too right now I will not be doing it it's not gonna serve me any purposes I have not done anything back then I will not do stuff like this um, let's continue with this is there like something up there nothing much nothing much blah blah some car sale whatever I don't know, ask about another company. She gives me she gives me the names of some other companies where I can go and apply for uh, IT companies. I tell her I speak some languages, it could be customer service or something. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Uh, I tell the lady for whom I actually think she's the owner, uh, you are the employee here from the day number one, from the first day. She says yes, and now we go to the issue number one. That's the second lady that was present. I tell her you. I tell her I also remember you. I also remember you. You are also many many years here. She says me. No no no. You don't remember me. The other one is laughing. Um, I said I I made a mistake then I, made a mistake. I actually I asked her I made a mistake I mistaken, right? and she says yes I said and I made a mistake right uh, she says yes working here 15 years at least. I thought her you are working here well you can hear that in English 15 years at least I told her yes. no, no. and she also says yes 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 and then no, no. So, I'm sorry I, made a mistake. I apologize I made a mistake therefore uh, have a nice day ha 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 and that's how we go apart basically that's the Okay, uh, I try to turn things humorous, uh, even when there are not. The thing is that it's good to have no expectations whatsoever from the people, because this was one of the issues they have used, on top of all that other stuff they have done to me, uh, to, to cause tensions in me, inside of me. Uh, it was all kinds of stuff they have used that would push one away from the element before you know uh, What I will do I want to thank both ladies. These are very nice people uh, very very nice pleasant people um, However, I do feel that um, These people don't owe me anything uh, They don't owe me anything especially because of what I have stated. I think that um I already have explained I have I have clarified all that stuff 
Uh, I want to thank everybody in this company. Thank you very much for helping me out uh, to identify you and your and your company. Um, the only thing I will do from this point, I will go ahead and I'm going to play you the whole audio recording uh, for whomever should be investigating this stuff. And for whatever reason is not investigating one. Uh, so it can be everything on tape on record. Yes, you have another company you have identified and the one next to, this is next to Castro in Ostrava, September 4th, 2020. That's all there is. I am going to do this. I'm going to play you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, Till next time, I guess.
apologize to you. Have a good day. Enjoy the journey, thank you. Uh, let's go for investigation purposes and uh, repeat this again, right? Shall we do this uh, thing here again? Let's do this in details. Let's do this thing again. We're going to do it like this. A business number one. What you see here. This is the number one thing here. Yeah? This here, already 97 here, what you see here, some kind of factory, whatever the hell that was. Again, I go back. Straight here. Well, what you see here, and that's exactly where I was at, Comments sometimes in 99, something like that, 2000, something like this, 98, 99, something like this. Soon thereafter, sometimes probably in 2001, something like this, 2002, this thing here actually appeared. Hmm, I am thinking, I estimate eventually this, this business <sighs> this, about the same time, two years later, at least this thing appeared. All right, I, I go like 2002, this, what you see right there, something like that. Uh, eventually eventually two thousand and one two thousand and two what you see here and I'll give that one right there 99 something like that 99 2000 something like this all right so we set the record straight for that matter too thanks for watching this video till next time